Welcome back to Hunter x Hunter Anime Review. This is special number 13. This one I'm viewing the two, no, 384th chapter of the manga, Conflict. Yep. Chapter starts off with one of the bodyguards talking to one of the princes in his office while having a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also return to a character I haven't seen in probably a few chapters. And this guy is talking to is... The Seventh Prince. Uh, the Vice Boss, Seventh Prince's uh, Army Advisor, Tenro. Okay. Excuse me. This conversation lasts for, I'd say, about a couple pages. And then eventually, completely out of nowhere, we have one of the members of the Phantom Troop. I don't remember this guy's name. It's this guy right here. I know he's a member of the Phantom Troop. I don't remember the guy's name. I know he's, a, he's the samurai of the group. And... We see this weird change of artwork for like one pa like one part of a page, a color of a family member, a boss, stuff like that. Yeah, this chapter's got a lot of talking, lots of talking. Oh, and by the way, it's the seventh day of the voyage to the Dark Continent. Yeah, this arc was going on for so long, like probably a little over 40 chapters by now. Mm -hmm. And they just talk and talk for a little while. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. You have to, yeah, trying to get through this dialogue takes a while because Tagashi loves this dialogue. Mm -hmm. This conversation about lasts about a good like first five or six pages, mm -hmm. and then we cut to looks like another room with one of the princes. Looks like he's eating fish. Looks like, and we see another person with his animals. Another fancy room. Another fancy room. We see room uh, 1004. Yeah, this was a ch this was a particular room that apparently was affected by Nen. Yeah, first time this room has been seen in probably almost 10 chapters. And then we see this. this oh yeah, at this point there's some disgusting imagery. I'm not going to show it here because I don't want to risk a copyright strike from showing and jump for this. Yeah, there's some tools or some so we have some disgusting guts. Yeah, I'm calling it guts. Yeah, they clean up because apparently there was a murder there. Yeah, this is probably the first in the series has gotten this violent that I can think of. Not since he's got killed two members of the Phantom Troop. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen any kind of gross stuff happen in this manga. And then we see one of the guys looking his... I think he's using his Nen to summon a, a guardian beast. This weird looking creature looks like a horse. Looks like it's a body of a horse with a weird looking tail and weird looking neck. And looks like some of it's a couple other uh, creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where he says, you know, the basics of Nen. And, like, best, 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 best of Nen. Lots more talking. We see one of the princes just staring at the creature. The creature just looks down. Like I like this. Like this. I think I'll think it's to do this tomorrow. Um, this is an okay chapter, but man, Takashi, did we really need the gross imagery in a chapter? Yeah, this was not necessary. Uh, this is by far the first time I can think of, probably in some time. I don't think there's been gross imagery in the manga, not since Hisago was last seen in the manga. Because for him, it's been quite some time. I think the last time that there may have been some gross imagery was probably during Come Our Ant. Yeah, but it's been a while. When I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting seeing this. I'm glad it didn't show up because i rather not. If King of Lightning goes through this chapter, I hope the guy, he does not to show this disgusting imagery. Because I do watch some of his reviews. Though he goes a little over the top for One Piece, and he doesn't go over the top for Hunter x Hunter. He does enjoy re he does enjoy reviewing the manga, but I don't think he would show this disgusting imagery. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mostly put, it's just lots of talk in this chapter, and show off some Nen beasts. I mean, I like last chapter at least it was interesting. This was okay, but it's a very uh, take. It, it's a chapter takes a while to get through. The artwork is still fantastic, but the gosh, the guy's still a great artist. But yeah, the guy, like, because of the fact this is chapter 384, I'm probably expecting within just six chapters we may go in their hiatus again. That is a maybe. That's a possibility. It might happen due to, well, 
the last two times that he's gone hiatus, he went hiatus after releasing ten chapters. But excuse me, but who the heck knows uh, when he's going to hiatus again? I would not be surprised if he did it in like late December. I would not be surprised about that. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get this chapter. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's a major step down from last chapter. At least the last chapter kind of showed some stuff happening. This one, it seems like not much happened. Didn't feel like a fantasy arc any bit at all. Okay, but yeah, that's really it for this particular review, and it's the last video I'm gonna do today. Expect a review possibly tomorrow for the third episode of Black Clover, where I'll cover episodes numbers, uh, episodes 28 to I think it's 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, expect a review of that possibly tomorrow. If not tomorrow, expect a Thursday. Okay. I'll do the next review. Bye.